Zombie Apocalypse. <laughs> Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. My name's Calvin and please follow me on my journey of pipe welding today. In today's video, as you can see, I have some 16 inch elbows, two of them, and I'm joining them together with weld necks. And it's gonna be a bit of a nightmare piece to make because it's small. The pieces in between is gonna be maybe 80 mil, something like that. So it's gonna be a bit of a, a tough one to hold on the rollers to weld. But let's see how it goes. So follow me on this journey. So the equipment I'm gonna be using today is gonna to be my Speedglass G501 um, welding mask with a respirator pack on my back. That's gonna be um, giving me fresh air. So I'm gonna be rooting this at around 150 amps root. It's a synergic root setting that the Thronis machine has. Maybe if I remember, I'll put in what your volts and wire speed is if you run it on manual. And the machine I'm gonna be using is a Thronis TPS400i. That's one of Thronis' latest machines. So the route, like I said, 150 amps, I'm gonna be doing a hot pass at around 300 amps, and then my cap is gonna be at, I don't know, 150 amps. It just depends. When I'm doing um, fitting on fitting with the weld neck and the elbow, then I'm gonna to have to do a hot pass, but sometimes I can get away with not doing a hot pass. I'm gonna to try to include some arc shots if I can. If not, I, I don't know, it's a bit of a tough one, really, um, recording it. And this job is gonna be welded to class two specifications, so there's no X-ray. It may go for an ultrasound, depending on the percentage of work that needs to be um, tested. So before I start, hit the subscribe button if you like what you see. It's free, you can always unsubscribe later on. Don't forget, the wire I'm using is a copper free one mil solid core wire, and I'm gonna be using Argon Shield M24. I think that's 12% um, Argon CO2 mix. But on the Thronius machine, I'm going to be using an M24 gas setting, which is 15 to 20% um, argon. I hope I've covered everything. Let's get started. this piece here as a mark so I had the face of the, the prep on here and I used this end here to scratch a 13 mil um, mark all the way around and I topped it off did it because I had to top 13 mil off to get the measurement so. I've made one of these already it was just a, a hockey stick and what I discovered doing it is the pipe alignment isn't good. For some reason these fittings here, certain ends is, is crushed almost like an overall. So I'm happy to do the best I can to line up the inside of the pipe and the outside of the pipe suffers. So it's a bit of a it's a bit of a nightmare when you're trying to root it, but I'm trying to do the best I can. said 150 amps root I'm gonna do it in two quarters to stop it from falling and then I'm gonna cut out the taps just because where it's a weld neck I want it to look nice you know so when you see the welds and then um, I'm gonna probably do a hot pass about 300 amps and then cap it at 240 250 amps Thank you. 
putting on my third run, so I've done it in four quarters. When I was putting on the third run, the gap was small. So what I've done, I, I angled my torch upwards a bit, turned up the power on the torch, and I kind of slowed down and used gravity to help pull it through. But the route is a little bit thin, but it's within specification. So I'm not too sure if I'm going to hot past it or just do a, a, a cap on top of it, because the gap's a lot more smaller than I thought. if I'm close, I have to do that so the microphone can pick me up. I just capped that at 260 amps. As soon as I started, I regretted not putting on a, a hot pass or a fill, but luckily I was weaving backwards and forwards. So when you move back, you gouge the metal out where you're moving to, and then you push the metal back up and it creates lots of chevrons. And I was also at a higher up angle, so the molten pull would solidify more more leaning backwards so it doesn't come out flat because the lower you are the flatter your welds the higher you are to a certain point your welds have a a, a bridge to it a, a nice pump so um yeah luckily it came out nice i'm happy with how it came out i'm going to grind down the start stop and then um yeah move on to the next piece but in the middle of making this video i got a delivery from um craig moore online so check these guys out in the description and there should be a link right underneath here. I've got myself some TIG gloves and some MIG welding gloves. So yeah, check them out.
the second elbow on this pipe I have a 179 mil millimeter piece of um, pipe that's going on here and then a, a weld neck on the other side so I'm going to quickly buzz that up pack it together weld it up and then I'll get back to you Scott when I'm ready to pack the two of them together two pieces tacked up now what I'm gonna do is take them off of my turning table put them on some V stand and then there's a little sliver it's annoying it's a little sliver of like 90 something mil that goes in between the two um, elbows I was gonna weld it on the elbow by itself so my final tie-ins is only going to be one butt weld so there's less chance of the two pieces pulling but that's going to be too much effort so I'm going to take the chance I'm going to weld two um, sliver welds at once and it shouldn't pull this big pipe but I, I tend to not do that but what the issue is now I don't have a helper and these things they're too heavy on its own to pick up what I do have is a crane but the crane only moves in one orientation it doesn't go backwards or forwards so it's going to be a bit of a, a bit of a tough one see times like that I wish I had um, V stands with wheels underneath it because then my crane could only pick it up at one spot and like you saw I had to push it which is it's too heavy to really push it's very easy to hurt your back trying to twist like that so if I had um, these stands with wheels on it I could just plop it there and I could have driven it in it would have saved me so much time and possibly injury going to want to center itself which means it's going to um, pull itself towards me basically hopefully I'll be standing out of the way but this is going to be a bit of an issue so hopefully the strap is in the right spot and it stays balanced otherwise if it's off balance it's going to smack either side and this may be a bit dangerous welding it together and I'll show you what the end results of how it looks but if you like what you see please subscribe like I said you can always unsubscribe if you don't like what you see 
leave a like below share with your friends do whatever to to support me in my endeavors of this youtube channel and i'll pledge to give you the top quality content um, follow my instagram either here or here for more content so check you in the next one thanks for watching